Right, today we are going to be answering question 6 and it's going to actually be a very short one. I actually wanted to combine this question with question uh, 7 or question 5, but since we need to make exactly the number of questions, uh, we I decide I'm going to answer it. So the, the, differentiate between linear regression and non-linear regression. So uh, the easiest way to talk about it is to say, talk about the, uh, sorry, let me take a pen and so you can talk about linear regression. I'm going to now differentiate between linear regression and quadratic regression. Uh, let's talk about also quadratic, quadratic uh, regression. Sometimes this can be really bad. All right, so. Well, in case of linear regression, we are talking about uh, a linear relationship uh, given the data set. So if we have a data set plotted on a graph, so we have this data set plotted on a graph, no matter how this data set might be, uh, we are simply going to fit a regression line in this way, uh, a straight line going through it. And what it means is that this graph is going to have an equation like this. So you have y equal to, so here we assume that here is the y axis and here is the x, all right? So it's a function of x, a linear function of x, which will give us beta zero plus beta one x, okay? Now, if you look at this function, you can find out that this is a linear relationship uh, between y and x. However, in nonlinear regression, for instance, quadratic regression, we are assuming that the relationship is not a linear relationship. So we may have something like this. I use another color, let's see this. So we can have something like y is equal to f of x equal to beta zero plus beta one x one plus beta two x squared. So basically, let, let me just uh, take out, uh, let me say beta zero x one. Oh, okay, I, I don't even find the mouse right. Okay, so um, let me take back this. So we have beta zero plus beta one x one. So beta zero plus beta one x plus beta two x squared. So now we have a quadratic, a quadratic relationship between the two variables. So in linear regression, a relationship, a linear relationship is assumed to exist between the site of data, while in nonlinear regression, a nonlinear relationship is assumed between uh, the data. So again, we can actually go ahead to write something like this f of x, uh, y is equal to f of x equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus beta 2 x squared plus plus beta m x m. So this might give us, uh, now is a quadratic relationship so there is nothing we can do then to try to find a way to determine the coefficient beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 all the way to beta m right so this is the nature of a quadratic in this case we now have a polynomial relationship so in this case if m uh, let me use a different color of paint this time so if m is equal to one, then we have linear. If M is equal to two, we have quadratic. If M is equal to N, then we have N order, right? So this applies when we talk about overfitting and underfitting, where we have the more you increase the order of this polynomial, the more complex the model becomes, and the more overfitted 
the model becomes and the more M increase so much as time you have a problem of overfitting. So I hope we've covered the difference between linear regression and nonlinear regression and I'm going to stop here and we continue in the next video. In the next question that says explain the least square method of linear regression. So I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so.